Congressman Paul has a simple solution. Bring the troops home that are protecting borders in Asia and Africa and South America and put them on the United States border where they belong. We pay for them, the U.S. military. We have troops in 138 countries. How are they protecting our borders in the Rio Grande, in northern Canada, in the northern United States via Canada? The troops are American paid and they should belong to the American people securing our borders, not the borders of other nations. There's no authority in the, con in the Constitution for the U.S. military to protect borders on other nations. That's one thing. The second thing is, as Ronald Reagan said, when you subsidize something, you get more of it. Ron Paul wants to eliminate all welfare benefits for any illegal immigrant. Those illegal immigrants, they're coming here because they want work because they can't find it in their country. So what are they doing? They're putting pressure on local communities in, in New Jersey. They go into the schools, and guess what happens to your property taxes? One reason that your property tax is going up is because you have illegal, undocumented children in your schools. He's the only one talking about it. Thirdly, how do you make sure that women who give birth in the United States, who, is a, who are uh, undocumented, he is opposed to birthright citizenship. Just because a woman comes across the border and gives birth, that doesn't make that baby automatically a U.S. citizen. I don't think there's any nation in the world that allows that to happen. He's the only candidate in both parties that's talking about common sense practical solutions for illegal immigration. Thank you. Stop the invasion, bring the troops home, defend our borders, and that will solve the problem. There is so much waste in the federal budget. Three trillion dollars. Let's assume, let's assume, but the point I'm making is that the government is responsible and through a lousy job. We drove here from Manhattan, or I should say Jersey City, the roads are pitiful. I'm th I think I'm on a third world nation. <laughs> the government's responsible and the roads are third world conditions. And that's with all the money that they have. <clears throat> One way to do it is to give it back to the community so they are in charge of it. Ron Paul is a decentralist. He wants decision making at the local level because then you can go to City Hall and state government and make your case. Who's got time to go to Washington? Time for, um... An outsider, relatively unknown. How is it possible that he can win given the, the costs uh, of running a major campaign? You know, when you look at Romney and, and, and the deep pockets there, how can, how can Ron Paul compete? Uh, he raised $20 million in the fourth quarter, the most of any Republican candidate. His message is resonating with young people because they know the bills that they're going to be getting over the next 40, 50 years. The students that I teach at Ramapo College over the next 40, 50 years will be paying a fortune of their income in taxes because of all the entitlement uh, liabilities that the federal government has created. That's the reality. So Ron Paul's message is very simple. We have to go back to the basics of the Constitution. We have deviated from the Constitution for the last hundred years. And because of that, we're in the mess that we're in, and he's the only one, I believe, given my knowledge of his track record and voting record in the Congress, to move this country to the right direction, which is a limited government and free enterprise. Right. Dr. Paul is the only physician running in the right, so he knows medicine intimately. 100,000 babies, that's awesome. No, 4,000. <laughs> 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 you can never see a boat. You never have five children if you're doing 400,000 babies. <laughs> <laughs> My brother-in-law Dr. Paul wants to restore the doctor-patient relationship. The biggest mistake we made in health policy in this country was establishing HMOs as the primary deliver of public care. He wants to reduce the power of the HMOs, restore the doctor patient relationship. He has authored a bill, the Health Freedom Act, which give us which would give us the power to choose our own health care, whether it's in terms of alternative medicine, vitamins, what have you. He wants to reduce taxes. That will increase the rate of return for pharmaceutical companies. He wants to reform the FDA so pharmaceutical companies can bring drugs to the uh, marketplace much faster. There are drugs that are Available in Europe, we can't get in the United States. There are drugs available in Canada, we can't get in the United States. You know what that means? People are dying needlessly because of our government. Because they're unwilling to allow us to take the risk. Now, risk is an important factor in the marketplace, but Dr. Paul understands the nature of risk. People have to have, to, should be able to choose how much risk they want to incur, not government bureaucracy. Uh, as I said last, in my last earth, early remarks, Dr. Paul is the only candidate talking about the most important domestic issue facing America. What is going to happen to the value of the dollar? This is my area of expertise and research for the past 35 years. The dollar is a failed currency because of the welfare state that we've created here in America. The dollar is falling into international currency markets, which has grave consequences for the future of our nation. 
Any nation that has a weak currency has a weak economy in, the, in Brazil. Dr. Paul wants to strengthen the dollar by restoring the principles of the Constitution. The Federal Reserve is a post-constitutional, extra-constitutional institution. That was the revolution of 1913 that gave us the income tax and the Federal Reserve. The Ron Paul movement is the Ron Paul revolution to restore the principles of 1776. With your help, those principles will be restored, not only on February 5th, but in November 2008. So okay. this is what's at stake.